This morning I woke up before sunrise. Good morning. I went out on a busy street. I took a boat trip through the city. I walked on a road with literally no sidewalk. And then I stood in line after line after line. Just to show you the so famous JFI. But let's start from the beginning. Good morning. It's um, 7.14 and I've already started my way to JFI. Just to tell you guys if it's worth it and to try it. I've never been there. I mean, I've been there two times already, but I never went in. It's a little after 7.15 and the sock is already swarming with cars and people and it looks like it's a rush hour, but I don't think it's gonna be a rush hour for the next 30-45 minutes or something like this. In this traffic I would usually go with a bike taxi, but I did that, so today I chose the speedboat ferry. And yes, this is my beautiful road for today. Speedboat ferry is one of the fastest means of public transportation in Bangkok and the most comfortable during busy hours, as there is always fresh air. Just as a small bonus, it's really entertaining. Just watch the style of how the crew is moving around. You can also watch floating neighborhoods, which is the traditional way of living for Bangkok people. I mean, when they're not living in the high rises. And welcome to the center of Bangkok. Not downtown, but literally center of the city. So right after I got off the boat, I gotta walk by foot. It's gonna take me around 10 minutes. And while I'm on my way, let's talk about who is J5. So why is she so famous? She's been doing her cooking thing for over 40 years and I guess she herself is like around 80 now. In 2018 she got her Michelin star. Um, sorry for the interruption, but I'm stupid. When I was filming this I totally forgot that she also was on Netflix series Street Food Asia, which is how 90% of people found out about her. And after that, in 2021, she got the award of Asia's 50 best restaurants. But the problem is, and actually why I'm going there at like 7 something in the morning, there is a huge line. And you can queue in that line for maybe 3-4 hours, as people say. Hopefully I'm not gonna sit there for like 4 hours, but my expectation is that it's gonna be around 2 hours. But we'll see. And actually, as, as a lot of that happens in Thailand, we see right here with definitely no sidewalk. Why not? Google said yes, I said yes. At 8.02 a.m. I came to run J5 and this is where the real journey starts. For your convenience, I'm putting the clock on the top right corner of the screen. As you may see, the place is still empty, but people are already lining up to get in the queue. We got number 12. At 8.20, the restaurant finally put out a list where you come and write down your name and the number of people who are with you. So, at that moment, uh, you might think that you're going in. No, that's the moment where the second line starts. And this is actually me, writing down my name at number 12 and thinking that soon I'm gonna eat. <laughs> funny, funny. And actually at 8.56 I made my first time check. And I understand that I'm already an hour in. At 9.18 it finally starts. 
One. One. And long story short, we get cut out. They stopped at number 11. At 10.09 we finally got our menus to choose the food and with that we got the hope to be seated soon. The menu itself is pretty big, but the one dish you should try is the famous crab meat omelette that actually gave J5 the Michelin star and which goes for the astonishing 1400 baht. Just to compare, with this 1400 baht you probably can eat Thai street food for a week. It's 10.12. After a little more than two hours of waiting, we got seated. And now we're gonna wait for the food. And with 2 hours and 53 minutes, I stopped the clock, because I finally got my omelette. Oh, what can I say? It's huge. It is filled with a ton of crab meat that sure looks solid. But the taste, uh, it is nothing extraordinary. To be honest, I tried much more sophisticated Thai street food. While you're waiting for your order, you can entertain yourself watching J5 herself working in the kitchen. As the second course, I ordered the also famous dry tom yum, which is special to the run J5. And guys, let's be honest, I don't want to be rude, but this is regular tom yum that has been drained. So my verdict about the J5 is, if you have seen it on Netflix and you really want to go, then you should. So I advise you to come even earlier than at 8 a.m., probably 7.30, so you have a chance to get in at like 9.20 or something and probably be among the first ones to get your food. But if you want something real tasty and something that you will remember, besides your experience and you know the name i probably wouldn't recommend you to go there and i think uh, that there are like 100 places in bangkok which are doing better and more extraordinary street food but you know that's just my opinion thank you for watching this video and i really appreciate if you're still watching this video at this moment at this very end and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet probably that's the right time to do it <laughs>